realm they don't attract, but in fact they distract each other from being what they really are. See, life and death never dare to collide, ever try dying to be alive or to survive, because in both they hide blessings and curses. Now truth and lies simply contradict each other. Gotta have one without the other, because with lies you have to keep coming up with another and another Amen. and another Amen. and another. But the truth, see the truth will set you free. Yeah. See, free from the snares of the backbiting enemy. Free from the pathological lies that plague you consciously. See, free from the self-worship that haunts you endlessly. Free from the self-righteous attitude that hinders you religiously. See, free from the casual sex that diminishes you physically. See, free from the substance abuse that courts you frivolously. See, free from the anger that fries your brain constantly. See, free from the greed that suckers you compellingly. See, free from the depression that greets you bereavingly. See, free from the self-doubt that rapes you willingly and free from the pain that caresses you lustfully. Because it's clear to see. See, even I haven't gotten to the best of me. It is a Vlogmas Day 9. Hey everyone, welcome to my Vlogmas series where I vlog every day in December up until Christmas Day. And you know, I like to keep them short and sweet and enjoyable. So today is day nine. Honestly, like doing this Vlogmas daily is really allowing me to see how fast time goes. And like 2018 is about to, is a few days away from just kind of coming to an end. And um, a new year is gonna start, 2019 of course. And this year, or this morning, oh my god, this year, this morning I was listening to an episode on um, on the podcast of, um, I, I think it was, it was Sarah Jakes Roberts. I feel like it was her Woman Evolved podcast. And she was just talking about the need of processing. Yes, prepare, and yes, you know, make plans, and yes, um just set some goals and, you know, all these things for the new year, but really sit and process 2018 and essentially it's kind of like what I spoke about very very lightly in the detoxing your life and just decluttering the things that are unnecessary and kind of like being raw and honest with yourself like listen like this didn't work out for me this year so I'm gonna have to pivot from here and really figure out like where to go from here because this is not working out and I think that it takes that um introspect I guess to really take that time to examine that and sometimes that's not easy because sometimes like we have to like tell ourselves about ourselves and I feel like we don't like that you know so anyway that was like earlier's podcast and then I went to church this morning and um I went to the later service just because like it's like super rainy and like I don't know why on rainy days I just be like on slow motion and you guys know I already threw on some comfortable clothes like this sweater is on rotation I don't care what y'all say this sweater is on rotation okay it is such a comfy sweater so um I'm trying to add to my sweater collection so I don't bore you guys with the same top every single time but um but yeah I, I changed so fast because it's something about the rain and just being cozy and comfortable and just chilling. Shout out to Ryan Little who just commented on my Vlogmas Day 8 video. Maybe Vlogmas Day 8 or 7. Um, he is the one who actually made the song that starts every single one of my Vlogmases. And I put all of his information in the description box below. So if you guys want to check out like his work, his channel or whatever, make sure you check the link all the way down in the description box. So with that being said, I'm sitting here on the floor. Um, um, because I'm trying to figure out <laughs> what I'm gonna eat and I'm like I'm so glad I had some cashews in my car do you guys have emergency food in your car like when it is an emergency and you're like oh my back is against the wall and I need food right now and if I don't have food right now it's gonna be a problem so the cashews in my car that live in my car I kind of like recycle those out every so often um but I have a new pack I think it was from Walgreens and they're like honey roasted cashews and I leave them in my car 
And those really came in handy on today because it's something about getting out of church and you're just like automatically like, okay, where's the food? I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm about to get into trying to figure out what to eat. And then, you know, Sundays are super chill. I mean, my life is super chill, as you guys can see. But um, today's word was so, 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 so good. And, um, you know, he was just talking about the story of Rachel and how God provided for her womb to be open after so many years of struggle, after so many years of, of just so many different things. Um, I believe this story is in, you can kind of read the story in like Genesis 30 around there, um, Genesis 29-ish maybe even. Yeah, I would say Genesis 30. And, um, and then he was just talking about how God just opened her womb and um, allowed her to have Joseph and how what the meaning of the name Joseph means is that God will add onto you or something like that like God is adding to your life and he was just talking about how just get ready for the more that God has already reserved for your life because there are promises on your life that seem like they're taking forever just like with Rachel but it's almost as if like it's already reserved it's already yours it's already there and um god is just going to continue to add onto you onto your life and i think that that is so like such a blessing because i i personally feel like you know i have i've lost a lot of things in my life and i think that that I just always thank God for God's grace and mercy. Like his mercy triumphs over judgment every single time. And I just thank God for the mercy that he has on my life. Even though I feel like I have lost, I feel like I've gained so much more because of the life that he continuously breathes into me. And um, yeah, that's, that's kind of sort of a glimpse of what today was about. Oh my gosh, somebody is really texting me. It was my sisters. We have a little group chat kind of going on. But yeah, that's pretty much what was going on today at church. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like as we approach the end of the year, it's kind of like we feel like, wow, like I didn't really get to do, like I didn't really see the things that God said that he would do. And I just want you to know that, like I said, his word does not return unto him void. And so if he spoke it over you, it will come to pass and he will add more to your life. The latter will be greater. And that is just like, let me fix my hair because I don't want it to have that weird dent. I don't want it to have that weird dent in it, but I am going to put it up so that it's not in my face. Oh, I forgot to mention yesterday, the little sweatsuit that I had gotten, it was from Target. But I feel like it's sold out because every time I go, they don't have it anymore. I'm going to see if I find it and I'll link it below. Okay, guys, it is the end of Vlogmas Day 9. Today was not as eventful, but I feel like it was a great day to receive the good word of the Lord. And now it is coming to an end. Vlogmas Day 10 is tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. Monday morning, a new week, a new day, a new opportunity to really recognize all the things that God is doing for us and just having a heart of gratitude that we get to wake up another day. I ended up making some more ginger tea and added some apple cider vinegar. That's just my jam. I love doing that. Um, I thank you guys for the concern of if I was coming down with something or not. Thank God. I'm good. I feel fine. Um, it has been very, very like rainy and cold. So it's weird because it's like on and off, on and off. For the most part, I'm good. Thank God. And then the other thing that I did tonight was do Christmas shopping from the comfort of my own room in my own home because ain't nobody got time to be out in these streets. So I have a really big family, as you guys know. And I have like one theme for this year, um, which I'm not going to say because I know my family watches my stuff. So I'm just not going to say. But let's say you have a theme of like, I don't know. Let's say your your theme is like restaurants and gift cards. Like you're going to give everybody a Starbucks or a, um, I don't know, whatever gift card, Chick-fil-A, whatever. That's what I mean when I say like theme. 
I don't always do this every year, but I feel like I'm trying to really, really budget myself. So girl, I done created a whole Excel. You guys know what time it is. Let's go ahead and announce these four recipients of this year's Christmas postcard. Okay, so the first one is Jean David. Then we have Norma Salinas Shirley. Then we have KT. And then we have Angel Cordon. So make sure, guys, that you uh, follow the details. And thank you guys so much for commenting. So one last thing before I actually end the vlog. I actually had to choose another winner for the virtual uh, Confident Woman conference at the end of the month that's like a mouthful and um so if you're interested in attending with free access it's a virtual conference you can be wherever in the world to just join in on the live you don't even have to join in live you can like actually access it later on um, but it is a live stream where I'll be speaking on one of the time slots on confidence after tragedy and all you have to do I'm gonna actually leave all the details in the description box so don't forget on top of the comments of wanting to be a recipient of the Christmas postcard this year make sure that you follow the directions to win your access for the virtual confident woman conference at the end of the month I feel like this has been a very chatty vlog, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it today. I'm so excited because I've already got some content lined up for when I get back home. Deb is going to be back home. My uh, bestie Anna is there. So we're going to be doing um, our first mukbang. Where should we go for mukbang? Is that even how you say it? Mukbang, mukbang. That is what we're going to do. And then with Anna, we're going to just be talking about friendship and um, all that entails. So if you guys have any questions on the friendship side or anything we should talk about with the month thing or month long, just let me know. Comment below. And yeah, guys, I'll see you.